the 1992 tour with AF, uh, they started calling me T-Bone. Those dudes, all of them in the band. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who even who started it in the band, but maybe Stigma. Maybe I don't know, but and that kind of stuck. And everybody started calling me T-Bone after that. I started uh, a few years ago. I made a barbecue sauce just for fun at home, and friends of mine were like, "You should bottle this." So I was like, "Okay." So I and I decided to name it T-Bone's Famous. It was pretty funny, you know, because it just sounds like sounds like the name of a barbecue company which culminated into uh i just bought and put together a barbecue truck uh with a smoker on board and it's called t-bones famous smoking barbecue it's pretty fun For barbecue, like I'm from the south, and when we barbecue, to me, it's got to be obviously slow smoked. That's real barbecue, Gr like grilling on the fire is not really barbecue. It's more grilling, but yeah, barbecue. Like uh, I like for me, like pork shoulder. It's got a nice, not too spicy, but a little bit spicy rub on the outside. You know, a lot of paprika, uh, chili powder, garlic, and onion stuff like that. That's got to be prevalent, and smoked slow for hours obviously i like cherry wood a lot the hickory and oak and all that's good too but i like when i if and when my food truck actually when i serve a sandwich say or even my ribs it's just dry rubbed only and i have a nice sweet tangy barbecue sauce i created that i put on the side that allows the customer or the you know whoever's eating it to because it's good without it because the, the the rub on it makes it taste good anyway but, you know, the sauce is always nice to dip your rib in the sauce a little bit or, you know, pour some on your sandwich or dip your sandwich in it. But I like to serve it dry like that. That's my favorite. And, and then that, that way you can control how much sauce. I, I, I can't stand when you go to, like, a barbecue joint and they give you a pulled pork sandwich and it's just drenched in sauce. I, I, sometimes they even mix it in the sauce, you know. That just, to me, it ruins it because I can't take the sauce off, <laughs> you know. I remember in Frisco one time I went to the barbecue joint. I got some ribs, and they gave me my ribs, and they literally poured, like, a quart of sauce on it. And I'm like, I didn't ask it to be swimming in the Great Lakes <laughs> of sauce, you know. <laughs> I ate them anyway, of course. But music and food and art and all is all this math. <laughs> it's all the same side of the brain, you know. It's like kind of goes hand in hand.